In this video we're going to be talking about how to record a Zoom video meeting using record a separate audio file for each participant. In settings you get this thing which is uh, clearly states the phrase and you checkbox it. What it means when your meeting is over that you get your master audio, a Zoom video meeting video file and then you get a new folder called audio record in it is whatever audio is made depending on what you've shared and also how many participants spoke or were in that meeting. So what this really looks like is settings is recording and there, that's where you find the record a separate audio file button. Now what I'm going to do or going to do is take in turn the four or five tests that I've made and just talk them through on a basis of sort of what we can learn from each one because they're different and also um, the different styles that I've used maybe a form of troubleshooting for people in the future so look if you are super super new to multiple track recording and audacity then you probably won't need this video if you have never ever in a million years wishing to um, record separate audios also you will not need this video but if you're in the middle where you are one of those 300 million people who are coming to Zoom because of our lockdown um, home working, remote working thing, and you think, hold on a second, they had a couple of people in the meeting where it was really like hard to hear them, then this may be for you. So let's talk about it. Um, in this test one, where I've got a host, which is always me on Windows 10, a mobile guest, quite honestly in this example, is me in another room, and also a tablet guest, which is using an Android tablet in another room. So my point is that in each one you get a master audio which is this top line and then a host so the host I would have said oh I'm on my Windows and then I've got the tablet microphone but because the tablet microphone was actually shut the audio resulted in the Zoom video meeting doesn't align when you open them up so you I'm afraid it's trial and error where you have to go through and say look what are the the waveforms and they might kind of like um, line up should someone wish to speak. You can see that the phone microphone is actually always open or available shall we say and that's when I've done a little test on it. So in Audacity, Free Audacity, you can use this thing that looks like an arrow with a left and a right head on it and then what you do is you can physically drag these along and you can see more or less well exactly that they actually line up just here that was that test number one going on to test number two what we've done here is a host again me a guest talking at the same time um, and what I've done is a master audio and uh, with um, Chad in America here and I'm in the UK of course then we're in a zoom meeting and we're just testing this thing out and what we do is we're actually saying or I end up saying 2468 2468 and Chad says 13579 all the time over each other so what I'm trying to get here is if you wanted to separate those numbers out then they are all in the master audio together I'm saying 2468 and Chad down here is starting to say 13579. You don't need to hear these files, it's the concept. When we pull them out, then um, I've clearly got a 2468 and Chad is saying 13579, that sort of thing. That's another one to demonstrate that if two participants or more than one participant talks over each other, in theory you should have a separate audio which we can process later. Oh, one, one um, thing that I, I forgot to mention actually and that is that with test number one that clearly on the tablet microphone the audio is really low, really low through that microphone compared to the audio here which is much higher on the Windows machine and what you would do is you would click and select that track and then you would do effect normalize effect compressor and try and bring up all of these waves forms uh, to be you know a conversation and not like a really loud person and a very very quiet person which I, I demonstrated in a previous video so what I'm saying is you can see big waveforms here and small waveforms there okay um, going on to test number three this time what I've found out is that if I'm a host a guest and I share some computer sound. Computer sound actually generates its own audio file, which is really useful actually. So you've got the master audio where everybody's um, just recording all over each other. And this bit here is um, 
which I'm highlighting with the laser pointer, is that I've got the computer sound, but I'm trying to speak over it at the same time, which is troublesome. But what I can actually do in the master, oh, sorry, in the Audacity later, is I can say, right, we've got master uh, audio. We can say, well, the host does this and doesn't bother saying anything else. The computer sound bangs in with some music or whatever I played and then the guest is trying to speak over it. Now then I can separate exactly out what that guest said, if it was um, obviously relevant and important. Test number four, I've used a host, a guest, but this time in the guest's mobile phone, which is just me in another room, what I've actually done is played quite annoying constant music into that phone's microphone and what I actually get is the host where I'm saying oh here I am and it's quiet and then the guest microphone is banging out this really horrid music because what's actually happening is the music's great but because it's coming in the microphone through through one phone to another in other words it's just annoying background sound this down here was the original music track in stereo and what you get is a really garbled like affair which I might demonstrate in a a second or two but what I'm trying to get to is what actually happens at the process of recording a zoom meeting with multiple guests in it because there's a you know no two meetings are ever the same across the world or whatever industries you're in or even friends and family so this one uh, I think is the final one test five we have a host again a guest and computer sound which is continuous which is really interesting because what we found here once again the master audio has got everybody together I've got the host microphone which is me you know talking away and at this point I start the computer sound which actually is the same music track and I just play it and I talk over it now whatever I might be saying is going to be pretty much lost here because in actual fact that's that's not true in that can you see the way that I've made a mistake on the slide in that I've brought in the computer sound but very clearly it needs to be aligned can you see that it doesn't align so what I'm still getting to say is that I start talking on it I stop talking it's just computer sound and then the guest microphone again which is my mobile phone starts to speak where you can see that these higher lines but Honestly, if you had a job of producing a Zoom video meeting recording for your company or your friends and family or your community group, and all you've got is one master audio, honestly, you're not going to get it back because you've got voice over music, you've got voice over music from a different person. And let's be fair, if there's 20 people in your meeting, you could have 20 different audio tracks all lined up and you think, oh my God, what a nonsense um, affair because you, you can't you know produce it for the public or for, for later on you'll come back to it in you know six weeks or six months time and you'll go oh my god I just I don't know what on earth was said okay fine uh, what else can we say about these um, really that that was you know the zoom recording using and just seeing that I guess that people will watch this video here if they come and get a bit stuck because once again the zoom zoom are fantastic they produce all these help sheets and features but some of them are very skinny so when I looked at the official help page which I'll link to in the description record a separate audio file absolutely true and it works but you know you've really got to, you know look at it a bit here so in other words for your own thing I'm not going to waste too much time the only one I'm going to do is actually bring in just one actually I was going to do a lot of the demos but I'm not all I'm going to do is just focus on this one so if I started off on a solo um, and this is the one with playing playing some music. I'll show you what I mean. Let, let me just play this. Right then, so we're recording. I'm speaking to you now always. On... You can see it's pretty low, isn't it? That's the master volume, which is actually me on my Windows machine, which is, let's say, there. Turn on some music, see what happens. So I went to turn on some music, and this is the music actually coming actually out in the air. Shall we say you listen to this? So let's listen to this. So this is the phone microphone and this is some music. What I'm getting at here is that if you listen to this music, this is what's coming into your Zoom and the bottom one I'm going to play is the original and this is a stark contrast, the original meaning the original track. You listen. See, it's there, but it's really distant and it's garbled and whatever. If you go to this, you listen to the difference of this. Amazing. Can you see there that what I'm getting at really is that if you're going to do this Zoom 
video recording with you know separate tracks and everything if at all possible like you know the the pros and you know the people who know what they're doing uh what they do is they actually re record the meeting but every person who sings or says something is actually recording either quite honestly to their mobile phone to a professional standalone mic like i'm using a zoom h2n or something and then they're drop boxing google driving just sharing that complete awesome file for the producer or the director to actually post produce later and then when you see it on youtube they go oh my god everybody's in a zoom meeting they're all singing and they're playing instruments but which is true but they're actually recording locally and sharing later but hey that was a few insights on this one which was how to record zoom video meeting with um, separate audio and it's the 26th of april and i will stop there have a great weekend bye